Now, CBS3 Springfield Sports. The Minutemen really needed this one. The UMass football team returned home to McGurk, where it's undefeated this season after losing two straight road games. The Minutemen taking on Northeastern, who has just one win on the year. No score in the first. The Huskies facing a third and 17. Now they're facing Brandon Collier, just jumps all over the Huskies QB for the seven yard sack. UMass gets the ball back and Tony Nelson takes over on the ground. Check out this scamper. Nelson runs 32 yards down to the eight yard line. UMass settles for a field goal and a three nothing lead. Next possession, UMass lined up to punt, but it's a fake. Jeremy Miles takes the ball and runs with it. 32 yards later, the Minutemen have a first down and all the momentum on their side. Second quarter, same drive. It's Nelson coming through a big game for him. The one yard score, Minutemen take the 10 zip lead. Now Kyle Haven still the starting QB and proving why today. Look at this beauty to Victor Cruz for 30 yards down to the one yard line. That leads to another Nelson touchdown. UMass up 17 nothing. It's now 24 nothing. A few seconds left in the half. Armando Cuco boots a 36 yard field goal. That gives him the UMass record for made field goals in a season. UMass up 27 nothing at the half. Second half, much like the first, Tony Nelson, 20 carries, 118 yards and three touchdowns. UMass pounds Northeastern 37 to seven, the final. We didn't play that poorly in that two game rut in a lot of ways. It was the turnovers that really took us out of those wins. Say we don't turn it over, come back strong in all phases and get a great win. We definitely had people, a lot of people doubting us. So uh, it's definitely good to come back and get, get another win and then hopefully just uh, knock out these last two. It was a must win, you know, we were 500, four and four, lost two in a row. So uh, we were home, you know, nobody wants to lose at home. So getting this win at home was definitely good. Springfield College is ranked first in the New England Division III coaches poll, hoping to end its season at 8-1. Homecoming and Senior Day at Springfield. The Pride honor 22 seniors with their families just minutes before kickoff. St. John Fisher, on the other hand, would keep the homecoming crowd quiet here in the first. Tim Bailey hits Marcus Miles, 11-yard touchdown. He threw for 338 yards and three touchdowns. Later in the second, Bailey hits Brad Carlton, who run it in for the score. Carlton also ran for two scores. The Cardinals of St. John Fisher stunned the pride and the homecoming crowd. They win 34 to 7. The, the Yellow Jackets of AIC taking on Assumption in their final game of the year. It didn't go too well. Going into the fourth, AIC trying to make a run, but Shane Murphy picked off by senior linebacker Dustin Zitzman on the one yard line. 99 yard touchdown. That'll deflate the crowd for sure. And the bleeding doesn't stop there as junior running back Herb Woodward capping off the scoring with a 17 yard run with about seven minutes left in the game. AIC loses 34 to seven and finishes the year five and five overall, three and five in conference play. But senior day at Western New England College, the Golden Bears looking for win number six against Nichols. Winnick got, got a good effort from Justin Walls who completes the screen pass on the third down in the second quarter, which set up one of his two touchdown passes. But the big play in this one coming right before halftime. Free safety Phil Sopinatis intercepting Sean Smith Vaughn and returns it 54 yards for the score. The Golden Bears win 31 to 10 and finish six and four, the best record in program history. All right, let's move to high school football. The Cathedral Panthers in action today against the Chicopee Pacers. The Pacers trying to qualify for the playoffs and they got out to a huge lead in the first half, scoring 14 unanswered in the first and matched it with another 14 in the second and 21 of those points. Thanks to Rashim Kelly Reed, who converted 61 yards into three scores for his Pacers. Well, just under five minutes left in the game, Cathedral finally responds with a two yard run from John Robinson. Chicopee wins it though, 28 to six. Now the only question about tonight's UMass Hoops game was supposed to be, where exactly is Dowling College located? The Minutemen tipping off their season with an exhibition game. The answer, by the way, Dowling located in Oakdale, New York, and the Division II squad is pretty good. Eight minutes into the game, UMass losing 15 to two before getting its first field goal, courtesy of Anthony Gurley. Ricky Harris then taking over later in the first. He finishes the game with 28 points. UMass down by one at the half, but rallying in the second. Sophomore David Gibbs coming up with this huge little drive through the lane. Some late free throws from Harris seals the win for the Minutemen as they win their only exhibition by two points. We learned how hard we have to play because Dowling, they wasn't a team that we could just go out there and roll over. They came out there and they competed with us at the highest level. And now we know like every single night we gotta, we gotta bring it no matter who we're playing. Intensity is the, the thing that changed the whole game for us in the last three minutes. I'm proud that we stepped up and we're able to pull through the game, but 
I want to start off from the, from the jump of the game with that, with that type of defense intensity. So UMass uh, looked a little rusty at first, but started to pick it up. It was a close game. And yeah. Some of the players said, you know, maybe it was good that it was close. Mm -hmm. Kind of gets them back in, in Hopefully, basketball mode Hopefully, because the season bit. really begins this coming Friday against Central Florida. Yep, that one's on the road. And then the following week, I believe, is their home opener. Mm -hmm. So they it's, they got to get it together. Yeah. None, none of this dowling nonsense. Not, not a know? lot of time to, to put things together. Obviously, they have a lot of things to work on. But hey, a win's a win.